It's open enrollment for most people, which means sorting out their health insurance coverage for 2018. And something that's getting more traction these days is the health savings account or HSA. But as Dana Fowl tells us, many people are still confused about it, Dana, including me. So take it away. Well, I got to tell you, more and more folks today, because of so many high deductible plans, are turning to the HSA instead. And what's the difference? And that's a really good question. Both allow employees to set aside money for health care costs that crop up. Sometimes your employer contributes to them. Well, here's the main difference. The money set aside in an FSA must be used up that year. The cash you put into your HSA rolls over from year to year, so you can use it in retirement if you want to. Big difference, but there's a whole lot more to consider than this when you're deciding between the two. So let's break this down. The FSA allows you to set aside more than $2,500 in pre-tax dollars to pay for these medical expenses. Now this money is withheld from your paycheck. With an HSA, you can save more annually up to $3,350. That's for yourself. The family plan is $6,750. Again, this comes from your paycheck. Now, the HSA also has something called the triple tax advantage. I talked with a money manager, Lisa Brown, and she tells us what this means. It is the best way to save money from a tax standpoint. The money you put into the HSA goes in before taxes, so you get a tax deduction on the amount you put into the HSA. While the money's in the HSA, you can invest it in different mutual funds. So the interest and dividends you earn on your investments, you don't pay taxes on those as they're earning money, just like your 401k. When you pull the money out to pay for qualified medical expenses, things like deductibles or co-pays, the money can come out tax-free. There is no other investment vehicle, she says, that saves money going in doesn't make you pay while it's in there and then doesn't charge you on the back end either, at least. Mm, so it sounds like it really requires sitting down and looking at your needs here, Dana. Yeah, you really do, but this might help you right out of the gate. Nearly everybody can join the FSA program. Companies don't offer the HSA to everybody. You will more likely get access to an HSA if you have a high deductible plan, the FSA is more likely for folks with low deductibles. So that might help you make your decision right there. But a lot of times, you know, when you're, when you're enrolling, you can fill some things out and it'll direct you to what might be best for you. Hmm. Hey, good to know that deadline is definitely looming. Offering some help this morning, Dana, thank you.